Hi everyone. So this is how you set up a tutoring appointment on TutorTrack for the Student Success Center at San Jacinto College. The first step we need to do is go over here and type in the website address into the address bar and that's going to take you to this particular page. Once you get to this particular page, we're going to go to our username, type in our G number, type in our password, and then simply click lock in. Once you've done that, it's going to take you to this following page. Once you get to this page here, we're gonna read the first sentence. It says, to schedule an appointment, please select search availability. We're gonna click search availability. Then we get here, we're gonna read this list of instructions. Instructions for searching. Click the drop down menu and select a center from the menu. Okay. The second step, search for available times by selecting a course or consultant's tutor's name. So we're gonna remember that consultant means tutor. Third step, click the search button at the bottom of the screen. And the fourth step, click on the time that is most convenient for you. So we're gonna go ahead and follow this sequence of steps. We're gonna click the center. We have three options. Say for instance, we choose central. Consultant, oh yeah, we remember there. Consultant means tutor. So these are gonna be the tutors. So we can actually click here, choose individual tutors, or we can click outside and leave a blank and we can search all the tutors. So we have those two options. So we're gonna search all the tutors. So section, let's see what section is. Oh, this is my writing class. So I could actually click here, or if I had a math or chemistry or so on, I could click those courses as well, but this is my writing class. So I'm gonna click writing. It's gonna allocate from this initial date to this final date. So say for instance, we wanna search within those range of dates, we'll leave it like that, or we could click the calendar and select a specific date. So let's go ahead and search within these range of dates. Search. All right, so this is starting from the initial date and then we'll keep proceeding to the final date. Now, if we keep looking at this, um, say for instance, we wanna choose Jacob Adams at um, 12 p.m. till 12.30 p.m. Yeah, so if we click this here, it's gonna take us to another screen. Once it does that, you're gonna click save and then it'll save the appointment. After you've done that, once you click the main menu, it'll take you to this next screen. So therefore we can view to see if our appointment actually, it's actually has been saved in the system. Let's go ahead and do that. So here we are. This is my upcoming appointment that I just scheduled. So we have Jacob Adams at 12 p.m. on the 27th, just like how we wanted. So after we've done this, we'll actually need to do another step. Well, we could do two, actually. One, we could cancel the appointment, or the other step would be on the date of the 27th at 12 p.m., I would need to be sitting here in front of my computer at least 15 minutes before then at 11.45 a.m. because it says here, join Zoom link will appear 15 minutes before your scheduled appointment. So right here, I will see a join Zoom link appear. And then from there, I'll be able to click it and then join my appointment at 12 p.m. And I'll have to wait in a waiting room for about a minute or two. And then a tutor will let you in and it will admit you into the Zoom session. From there, we're gonna create another video, which will show you how to set up a Zoom account and also what you'll need to do to join the Zoom appointment at that time. Other than that, that's all we have at this time. Have a great day and I hope this helps.